Researchers at Massey University's Equine Veterinary Clinic in Palmston North are looking at ways to extend the duration of competitive horses' careers. The clinic was established earlier this year and has been operating from the Massey campus as a testing facility. Chris Riley is Professor of Equine Clinical Studies, a part of the Institute of Veterinary Animal and Biomedical Sciences. This facility is called the Equine Veterinary Clinic and it serves as the fundamental core piece of our teaching in the Equine Clinical Sciences for the vet program and for the Bachelor of Veterinary Technology programs. We also do some research here but mostly it's about teaching and as part of that teaching we have clients bring their horses here and we have experts who provide medical services to those animals on behalf of the client and we use those as part of our teaching opportunities. We provide a lot of education and teaching, not just for veterinarians, but for other people in the industry as well. And we also are an engine of research for the industry, uh, working with the Partnership for Excellence for New Zealand, and we generate a lot of research that helps them to be better managers of the horses and the resources they have, and also to prevent diseases and manage diseases that occur with the horse industry. The equine industries do have a, quite a bit of loss of animals, um, either because they're unable to perform or they have health issues. And so that is a big concern and a major focus for our research here is to identify ways to reduce that loss and that wastage and to help producers, so stud operators, breeders, so they don't lose as much money and they can be more profitable. Part of Massey University and part of what we do is to provide leadership and develop new opportunities for the industry and for the equine industry particularly and for our students. The technology that we're using today is called the Equinosis Lameness Locator and it provides an objective way of looking at lameness in horses or soreness in the legs. And it's pretty important because if we have a bunch of people look at a lame horse, they might disagree on which leg is affected or how severely it's affected, but this technology allows us to get an independent measure of that lameness. There are special sensors that measure inertia or force, if you like, acceleration and force. And by measuring whether these forces are symmetric or asymmetric, how heavy or how light they are, we get an image of the computer which processes this information telling us which legs are affected and how severely. This was developed by a fellow by the name of Professor Keegan in the United States and to our knowledge this is the only one currently in New Zealand. Oh yeah, I can see the difference yeah. in the... So we're, yeah. Yeah. So we're just in the four legs. There are three accelerometers or sensors if you like and one goes on a leg, one goes on the rump area and one goes on the head. And for example, when a horse is lame in the front leg, often it drops its head on the good leg and lifts its head on the bad leg. So the accelerometer measures that amount of drop and fall in the head. And similarly, things equivalent to that occur in the leg and in the hindquarters. We're really looking at sport horse owners because those people often have um, very high demands for high level performance. And we're using it also to engage young people who are riding horses because they're very technology savvy and they want to see that technology has been applied to help their horse. Good boy. Mm -hmm. 10 to 20% of horses have what we call upper airway abnormalities. You know, we have to decide whether they're significant or not. Um, but also it allows us to determine you know, what's the best treatment regime. In some cases it may be surgery, in other ones it maybe needs more time off or maybe carry on or this kind of thing. They can have various abnormalities. Uh, some of them are developmental, some of them are acquired abnormalities. Um, what they do is when there's a, some kind of obstruction, physical obstruction to the airway because it's not functioning normally, they can't get enough oxygen. And so then what happens is the owner or the trainer notices poor performance. And so using this endoscopy system, obviously we can monitor the airway while they're working. The advantage of this particular system, uh, which is the, what we call overground endoscopy, um, we can actually watch them doing their, their proper work uh, before we use high-speed treadmill examinations. As you can imagine, for uh, standard bread, uh, you can't get them to pull the cart on a treadmill, whereas with this type of system, we can actually get them to do their specific work and watch them while they're doing that. The horse has to carry a laptop computer, and that's recording what we're grabbing. And then, because it is an endoscope, so we have a light source to produce light, and then we have um, a fluid system with a pump, so should we need to flush it while we're taking the video, then it can do that as well. So this is the endoscope here. We have to place this up the nose, um, and then, once that's in, uh, we have this console here where we can watch the video in real time, 
and we also have some ability to adjust the position of the scope and also if, if we need to flush it we can flush it and so if we stay in range then we can watch the whole video and what's happening at the time it's happening to actually place the scope in like having anything passed up your nose uh, is a little bit unpleasant uh, but once it's in there they don't it doesn't seem to bother them and um, they don't throw their head around so uh, they, they tolerate it really well it's just a passing of it obviously up the nose that they don't tend to like to start with we're looking basically into the throat. We're looking at the, what happens with the, what's called the pharynx and also the larynx. There are recognized conditions that we know exist. If the owner or the trainer has a complaint that the horse is making a noise or poor performance, we can look at what happens to the, basically to the throat while the horse is working and determine if there's an abnormality or there's not an abnormality. Um, this horse has a normal airway. And so uh, during the course of the exam, uh, we can tell that everything is functioning normally. So if this horse did have a poor or a reported poor performance, we would know it's not due to something that's related to the upper upper airway. I think it's a really valuable piece of technology because you know performance limiting factors are you know a key, and if if you can find out what's wrong with your horse, I mean it pays dividends. Traditionally, we do a straight standing endoscope, which you know that's just looking at the horse as he is now. Um, then we move on to a, a um, treadmill endoscope. But I think being able to work the horse under real time conditions, real life conditions, you know, and that, that's the value of, of this technology, I think. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.